what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back terror squad we are back in the house again with some more walking dead i told you guys i'm gonna bring the heat this week don't worry about it we got the power woo <laughs> i was trying to do a rick flair impression it did not work <laughs> i couldn't get the right woo out woo <laughs> anyways um um thank you guys so much for always coming back man it's been awesome um watching this season of the show some people are anticipating me reacting to um season five um some people love it hopefully it's good and i and i will enjoy it also i'm looking forward to it also we got two more episodes left in this season season four today we're going to be doing episode 15 and then i'm going to do episode 16 maybe tomorrow maybe another day who knows but these are not you're not gonna have to wait a week to see another episode i promise you that but i'm trying to kind of pace myself just the same um as i've been quarantined home so still trying to pace myself and not burn myself out while i'm at home and get bored doing something that i love okay so i'm trying to pace myself so um, I might do some double uploads. I might not do double uploads just to kind of pace myself for these upcoming days because I still don't know. It might persist for more than two weeks. We're at, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? Two weeks is what they're saying right now, um, but it could go longer than that. OK, so um, they're hope hoping that they'll fix the situation and find a cure or whatever they're doing um by april but you know let let's be honest i don't think this situation is going to be solved in two weeks so let's just be honest with ourselves so in in any situations we're going to be here hopefully you guys you know out there um are staying safe washing hands doing all the things needed to be done so that this you do not contract this virus okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in for coming here to my channel and showing me some love the walking dead community lovers okay so yeah man last episode was really touching um it touched on a lot of subjects that you know you might not be aware of and stuff like that like i've been around mental in i've been around mental illness um you know extended at an immediate family i've been around it i've seen what it can do to people and stuff like that um now in in the reaction you heard me talk about the um you know seeing the signs of a, a within a child that could possibly grow up to be a serial killer now i'm not necessarily saying that's what would have happened okay um, with this particular character, I don't even want to say um, her name <laughs> that much because it was just it was just so surreal. How you know what happened with her? She lost it. She, you know, some people say she cracked, and that's about it. I think it goes beyond that. I think I do really do believe that The Walking Dead was trying to show you that even though we're with we're in this basically apocalyptic um situation with the walkers and people turning into zombies and all of this other stuff there's still humanity going on you get what i'm saying there's still these aspects of life that still could possibly happen these signs like the 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 um you can't just look at that one incident of her cracking under the pressure you got to look at everything that happened up to that point you can't just look at just that last episode there were there were a lot of signs that i saw within this girl um coming coming up throughout this um from the first time she was introduced into the story like i saw some signs that i was like why is he so nonchalant you get what i'm saying like this whole time they were telling her hey they're not people and she keeps saying oh they're good they're whatever that's that's you know disassociated disassociated disassociating from reality is a sign you get what i'm saying like when you see children that they don't understand certain things right even though you're explaining it to them over and over and over again and telling them 
this is how it is. But they, but they keep saying, but, but, but this, but you get what I'm saying? Um, when it's reality versus fantasy, that's an issue. You get what I'm saying? Um, you have rebellious kids that when you tell them to do stuff and they're like, but I thought, but I thought, but I thought that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's just kids being kids, being rebellious, being, you, you get what I'm trying to say? That's not necessarily them being outside of the box or anything like that. That's just kids just being kids annoying and just won't listen. You get what I'm saying? When you associate that same behavior, when you're telling them, hey, this is how it is. This is the reality. This is what it is. They're walkers. They're not people anymore. They're zombies. And she's saying, no, they're people, even though they're trying to eat me. That's the problem. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? And I thought she was brought back down to earth during the episode as they, as you saw what happened. I really do think that she was thought that she was brought back to earth when they were attacked. She had to run because of those zombies that were coming from the, the fire or the smoke or whatever. And they had to stop them. And you know what I'm saying? I thought she got it now. Like this must have snapped her out of it, but no, it didn't. No, it didn't. You know what I'm saying? It didn't. She ended up killing her sister, right? She ended up killing her, her sister. I mean, I was so worried for Judith. I wasn't even, you know, after, I'm talking about like when we realized that she killed, you know, when she killed her sister, I was, I was like, where's Judith? You know what I'm saying? Cause they left the baby with her. That was crazy. And then Carol had to take her out, you know, and it's, it, it just goes to show you, man, that this, it, it was just brilliant, right? It was one of the best episodes of the walking dead that I've watched. So people said it is hella more to come and I'm looking forward to it. Cause I mean, if they're doing this here, I don't put it past them to do it again because they know that was a legendary episode. So we're going to jump in, man. Episode um, 15 season four, and I will see you guys for the review. Well, 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 Terror Squad, we are back in the house to do a review of The Walking Dead, episode 15, season four, and episode um, 16, the season finale of The Walking Dead, man. They really did a great job from the last episode to this episode. When I told you guys, man, like there's something in episode 15 when Glenn and Maggie them end up at Terminus, when they arrived, I was like, this is something is off about this place. You could just walk in, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird. It's just really weird, man. It's just really, really weird, okay? And then they made sure they took him to the front immediately. In episode 16, they took Rick to the to the front, you know, to get them something to eat because it's a freaking cult, man. It's a cult, right? And I see the, the, the signs, man. I've watched enough cult documentary to, to see, and we already know this. You want you want some somebody to be some drug them. And that's what they're doing. I have no doubt about it that something is wrong with the food that they're serving at the front. That's how they get them. That's how they get them. It's just that Rick and Rick, you know, and them that that arrived there, they came in th through a different way. So they didn't get to, you know, it's just weird that you arrive at a place that's supposed to be securing people from walkers and stuff. And there's just something so off about the place like. You know, there was something off about Woodbury, but it wasn't so, it wasn't so gloomy. You get what I'm saying? Like there were people run, you saw people running around, you saw kids playing, you saw, you know, it, it, it was operating like a normal community. You get what I'm saying? That's trying to insulate themselves from the walkers. This place is just, 
you just take the chains off the door and just walk right in with one single person. Barbecue it. Come on, bro. That screams horror movie if you've never seen one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Like something was just off about it. And then when they arrived, we didn't see any of the crew that arrived before them. It was just like, come on. None of Glenn, Glenn, Maggie, um, Tara, none of them walking around. Sasha, none of them. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Come on, bro. None of them walking around. You know, it doesn't seem like Carol and um, I, it doesn't seem like Tyrese and Carol has arrived there yet. So that's probably going to be their last hope because I didn't see them. So I don't know how Rick is planning to get out of this because I don't know. I think these people are cannibals and they're eating people because of that one little place that they pass. And you saw all these skeletons and stuff inside of a. I don't know what they're doing, but maybe they're serving. I, I think they're gathering people so that they can have food. And I think that's what they're doing. I think they're eating people. And that's just my <laughs> that's just my theory right now. But other than that, man, I just want to talk about the situation that happened with Rick and these guys that Daryl was traveling with. Um, that situation was very it was very cold. It was very cold. What happened? You know what I'm saying? Um Listen, we all have this animal instinct about us, and I'm so glad that they that they did a scene like that because it goes to show you that, hey, man, what would you do if you are right there? What act helpless? Nah, bro, you going to have to kill me. You are going to have to kill me. You're not going to get me to sit here and watch you, one of your dudes rape my son. And I know that's what he's going to do. Oh, hell no. You get what I'm saying? You're going to have to kill me. You're going to have to kill me. Period. Okay? So, I love the fact that they did that. Because I was like, if Rick just sits there and do nothing, no fight, no nothing. That is not the character that I've come to know and love. As a, as a as a as a father, yes, he's made mistakes. As a dad, he's made mistakes, and I'm glad that they're kind of showing. They were showing the backstory of how Herschel got him to start farming, and to kind of you get what I'm saying. So it's kind of like Herschel was like the granddad. You know what I'm saying? That was trying to tell him, listen, you have you have done your job. We're proud of you. You have kept us safe, but now that we're settled. You can concentrate on trying to build something for your son now. You know, we're not running for our lives at the current moment. You can kind of settle down, take care of your son, teach him something else other than shooting a gun or taking care of walkers. Teach him something else. Just like how Carol was doing with the kids, teaching them how to protect themselves with knives and guns and whatever, but also they were reading books. They were having normal school and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, after the fact, she was teaching them about guns and knives. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You got to teach them survival just as much as you're continuing their school curriculum or whatever. So I do get it from that standpoint that he that Herschel was trying to tell him. So that was a cool callback. I'm glad that they in the final episode, we got to see Herschel again which is one of my favorite characters in the show, will always be one of my favorite characters in the show. He will never leave as, you know what I'm saying, or leave my top five characters of the show. I don't think so ever. You know what I'm saying? So he's just that dude. So he's there. So I'm glad that they kind of gave him a bit of a homage at the end of the season because we lost him at the beginning of the season. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, man, sometimes we got to be monsters for the people we love. You get what I'm saying? And I do understand, you know, Carl kind of back backing off after the fact, but also explaining the reason why, you know what I'm saying, is like, are they really afraid of what they're becoming? You know what I'm saying? But the environment, it's the environment. It's the situation. It's the, you know what I'm saying? It's the end of world kind of situation that's causing, you know what I'm saying? That's causing this pandemic per se. You know what I mean? This people to act 
out of out of character in a certain way or learn something new about themselves that they never knew is is the situation you know what i mean um if you want to compare it you know what i'm saying to the situation that's that's going on now it's not i didn't i don't think that this coronavirus thing is going to get to the you know like to extinction kind of situation you know where we're looking at extinction or you know i don't want to get into any of the conspiracies or anything like that like i'm not looking at it like that but if it does go to that length right if it does go to that length you're gonna see people who you thought was you know good people act out of character you get what i'm saying because of the situation that's going on you know what i'm saying why are people buying all this toilet paper i don't know but <laughs> i don't know i guess that's the book i guess that's gonna be super important right tissue is <laughs> gonna be super important if this goes you know what i'm saying like it's crazy but anyways man thank you guys so much for tuning in i really 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 enjoy this i will be starting season five tomorrow um so look out for that anyways i really do enjoy doing these for y'all man you guys are awesome so make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this season. I'm not going to review this review this this season this time around. I'm um, just going to talk about the episode because the way how the season... I, I will say this. This season is definitely... Because of these last three episodes, it really went from like a... I want to say like a, a 7 out of 10 to a 9.5 out of 10 for me just be these three last episodes was straight fire <laughs> you know what i'm saying as we like to say so i definitely enjoyed it very much so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will catch you guys for the next one peace